a blood trail leading to this door, and it's open. Let me check it out. Guys, our friend here is going into convulsions. Something is really wrong. This is bad. Set her down, let me check her out. She's crashing hard, all her vitals are almost zero. Whatever is affecting her, the current state she's in has wiped out her vitals. She was okay when I checked her last. Now she is in a deteriorated state where that hit you gave her now shows a lot more damage than my initial scan. She's got a fractured skull, swelling of the brain, her respiration is minimal. There is nothing I can do with what I have. Any ideas? I don't have any fast drugs to slow her metabolism. Maybe we can find a cryobirth here? Because if we don't find one soon, she's going to die. There is no way Dr. Steiger will make it on board in time. We have another problem. Don't go in there. It's a jury-rigged meat locker full of gnawed body parts. Oh my god. Man, that is messed up. Body parts that I can only assume are the ship's crew. I think I'm going to get sick. They're eating each other? Mission's gone foobar. We gotta get moving. Where the hell is Zun? If anyone can move unseen, it's Sun. She will catch up with us. Commander, Zun has located intact samples of two different types of drugs in the debris of the destroyed laboratory. Doctor, maybe you can elaborate why she also found physical restraints and several broken stun sticks? Well, it's pretty clear whatever they are working on puts subjects in a heightened state of aggression. That's clearly shown by their first encounter with the survivor. Everyone better be on high alert. We don't know who or what else is on that ship that could have suffered the exact same results. What? You mean, unknown aliens? Or animals. I'm packing life science and advanced med kits now. This also doesn't sound like the development of food supplements with a stimulant. Pash, you want to tell me what the hell is going on over there? Yes, yes, yes. I have no idea. Really, no idea. You'd better start getting one. Reyna, can you get Waymire on comms? Actually, never mind. Let's keep Audible to a minimum. Tell Zoon to get back to the group and get them moving. And I want our launch ready the second channel leaves their docking ring. These halls are filled with debris and the reception area is trashed. It looks like a prison riot broke out all over the ship. Well, considering that meat locker back there, all signs point to rioting cannibals. Stop it. The spoke list seems to be okay. Looks to be in working order. Let's get to the launch. Okay. What the hell is that? It's over there, in the corner. Max. Put our friend in the lift shaft. Is she still breathing? Barely. Look out. Got it. Down. Shit, I missed. Not enough. Damn. Bingo. Quickly into the lift. I'm checking her status. Damn it. She's gone. We weren't fast enough. That's my fault. I shouldn't have hit her so hard. I'll take responsibility. Don't beat yourself up about it. She was trying to carve your eyeballs out with a laser scalpel. Looks like no one has been in here. It's clean. Looks normal. The ship's boat looks good. I am running a systems check now. Mac, strap her into a seat. I'll get her to the medical bay back on the Alcibius. At least Dr. Steiger can examine the body later. You two be careful, and please find Zun. 10-4 on this. We need to get to the bridge fast. 
I have to get those engineering diagnostic checks running ASAP. We are approaching the ring. 60 seconds out. Get your weapons ready. We'll proceed to the lift shaft and then to the bridge. Jenna says Waymire and Engstrom will have cleared the way. We should have no trouble. Let's not count on that. It's unfortunate our first survivor didn't make it that long. Let's try to bring him back alive so we can get to the bottom of this. Zen is reaching out to me. She is trapped in the empty fuel tanks on the aft side of the ship. Apparently someone emptied one side of the ship's fuel tanks, then breached the deck to get access. Survivors are using them as tunnels to access different parts of the ship. She spotted another survivor, a human, male, in his early 40s. He looks to be wearing homemade armor and is carrying some type of homemade weapon. His behavior is primal. He was gnawing on an arm, a human arm. She narrowly avoided being spotted and is hiding out until he moves on. Okay. Get a location on her the best you can. I will go get her when we get there. You two are going to get to the bridge and meet up with Waymire and Engstrom. Jana, this is Clark. Do you copy? Loud and clear, Commander. Go ahead. What's your status? I have just docked at our ring. I'm powering down and getting ready to move the scientist's body to sick bay. Okay, before you do that, find Hash, put him in a stateroom, and lock him in there until I get back. You do that at gunpoint if necessary. Understand? Understood, Commander. Sabine, out. Looks clear. The lights are smashed on the far wall. Someone could be hiding there. Careful. Computer displays are intact. And they are functional. Time to get this engineering diagnostic running. Blood on the floor. There is someone's shoe. Other than that, it doesn't seem like a lot has happened here. Running full systems check. Mac, watch my back. I don't want anyone coming up behind me while I am focused here. Give me that shotgun. You have work to do. Rena, can you still hear me? I found my way into the main lab through the access tunnels. There is a third survivor here. It's a Varger and he's over by the main computer terminal. He's just standing there, staring at it. Zun, the commander wants you to stay hidden. Do not engage. He is headed your way now. Wait for him to back you up. Then initiate contact with the survivor. I know we're supposed to go to the bridge, but the code on this door is for the library. I think we might get more answers here. Doesn't the commander want us on the bridge? John's used to me not following his orders. Technically, he works for us anyway. <laughs> Reach out to Zun and her neural link and let her know where we are. That way we can stay off regular comms in case anyone here is monitoring. I will look for a crew roster. That way we can start to ID the living and deceased. There's a lot of information here. It's going to take me hours to go through. We may need to wait for a full analysis until the ship is under our control. Just a quick review of the folder contents. It's clear this has nothing to do with food supplements. It's all about experiments with enhanced combat drugs. What else, right? It's not a surprise that Thorne is so anxious to get this data. I guess I'll start getting into the weeds here until John needs us. I'll start collecting samples for testing with the Life Sciences Kit. Hello? This is Commander Clark of the Alcepius. We are here on a rescue mission. You there. Please come forward and identify yourself. What's your name, crewman? Commander, please leave me alone. I do not need any assistance. I am not a crewman. I am a scientist. My name is Jan Varda. Reina, the commander is here. He is speaking to the Varda. Mr. Varda, we are here to help you and get you off this ship. 
It has structural damage and is no longer safe. I am coming up behind him and will be ready to stun him, if necessary. Will you please come with me? We can feed you and treat your injuries. This ship has been compromised now for over 300 hours. Food? I am not like the rest. They will claim, because I am Varger, that it is in my nature. But it wasn't me. I have kept my civility. I don't understand. What are you referring to? You know. You've seen the bodies. You are here to trick me. They will execute me for what they did. This isn't going well. Mr. Hartha, please. No one is executing anyone. Please take your hand off your weapon, sir, and let's have a conversation. Again, we are here to help you. I don't think so. I am going to try to stun and restrain him. Thank you.